guys, it's Spiffy Guy, and I'm back with another uh, gear video. The weather outside is less than desirable with low temperatures and a lot of snow. So I'm here at home working on uh, my guy line kit for my uh, tarp. I originally had this set up with uh, guy lines attached so I could run it as an A-frame with my hammock. And I decided to remove those and uh, redo it a little bit. So we're going to talk about the self-tensioning guy lines that I make. So let me switch the camera around and I'll show you what I got going on. All right, so there's a lot of different things that you can make your guy lines out of. A lot of people are going to use paracord. Uh, some people are going to use bank line. Uh, somebody might use this um, this reflective stuff from Kelty, or uh, which is Striptease. Uh, this is the MSR stuff. I used to use this as hanging a bear line, and these little reflect reflective fibers in there really uh, really reflect the light well. I use um, this stuff called Zing It. Uh, you can buy this online from marine supply stores. It's sometimes also called Lash It, which is a gray variety. This uh, doesn't stretch like paracord and it won't absorb water either, so it works pretty well. Um, it's a thinner cord, so it's gonna be a lot lighter than the, the other options here. And it may cut into your hands a little bit if you're pulling a lot of tension on there, so just be careful with that. And it does take a couple extra wraps if you're doing uh, friction knots like a uh, taut line hitch. So just keep that in mind, a couple extra wraps is all you really need. So what am I doing to make a self-tensioning guy line? Well, it's pretty straightforward. And um, what I do is I just do a, a half hitch with a bite here. Let me get that in frame. That's just a loop here uh, with a half inch. You could use um, a figure eight knot, you could use a bowl and whatever you think. And then I do another half hitch about eh, three, four inches down, six inches, whatever, half hitch with a bite. And then about six, seven inches away from that, I do another one. And then in between, I just put some shock cord. Now don't use this wimpy Kuglin's shock cord stuff. This stuff just doesn't have the, the, the right tension. You wanna get a good solid piece of that eighth inch you know, shock cord because essentially what's gonna happen is once you tie this up and the reason I put the loop in here is, let me show you. So I'll put the loop through my tarp and and then basically just, you know, do a lark's head girth hitch, whatever you want to call it, through. And now, now it's tied off to my tarp. And that way it's easily removable. It's not a knot that's gonna uh, get a lot of tension on it. Okay, so then from there, um, all we're doing is we're gonna take a piece of shock cord and we're gonna go to the top one and we're gonna tie in a figure eight knot. Okay, a single half hitch probably isn't a good idea because it may come a little loose. So I like a figure eight knot. And then we're gonna stretch out that shock cord and get it good and stretched and then tie it here at the other end. And that way what's gonna happen is as your fabric stretches, once you have your tarp set up, it's gonna let go. And as it lets go, that shock cord is gonna pull and it's gonna keep your tarp, your tarp nice and taut, okay? And if you have a lot of wind, you're gonna get a little shock absorber action going on in there. If that shock cord breaks, you still have, you know, this section right here that's gonna be, you know, still attached to your guy line. So the shock cord really isn't gonna um, impede in the functionality of the shock cord. If you have a really short pitch, you can have this loop. You could even put your stake either in this hole right here or in this loop right here if you make that loop big enough to hold your stake or you could just put it right in there and that'll give you a really short pitch if your tarp is really close to the ground. Now my guy line kit, these are probably about six feet and the reason they are that long is because I was hanging my tarp uh, in an A-frame for my hammock and so I like to have the extra line in case I wanted to pitch really wide or you know short and so what you do is I, I just made up a whole bunch. You can see I got my ridge line in here as well. And um, I also have a few uh, elastic or the, uh, the shock cord Prusik knots. I do a fisherman's knot on this. So you can look that up online. And uh, they make really good Prusiks for that. I even make Prusiks out of the, uh, the actual um, Zingit stuff as well, and it works pretty well. You do have to make a few extra wraps though, but the Prusiks are really useful in hanging the tarp as well. And so, you know, I have 
a guy line here for pretty much every tie out on the tarp, uh, which I did use when I hang it as an A-frame uh, with my with my hammock. You don't necessarily need to have that many lines, but it's a pretty simple way to uh, to keep your guy lines together and the self tensioning. I think really helps keep that tarp pitch uh, tight. So if you have any questions, you know, comments, post them below, and uh, why don't you make some guy lines and get your tarp and get out and have your own adventure. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.